I'm going to show you how to upgrade a vintage bike uh, from the old style bottom bracket to the newer style sealed cartridge type bottom bracket. I'm going to walk you through the steps from beginning to end. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the, the cranks. Um, so I'll go ahead and pop off this little cover here. Just a little screwdriver, it's usually like a little slot, you just go pop it out. Next I'm going to go ahead and remove the nut or bolt out of here. Uh, this is like a 14 millimeter nut in this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and loosen it, and then just go ahead and remove it. Next thing I'm going to use is a uh, crank puller tool. And I have another video on how to use one of these, but basically you got this little two-part piece here, and you screw this into the threads in the crank. Like that. Screw this in. Hold this part with a wrench and then turn this part in and it'll basically push the crank off of the spindle there. And I'll go ahead and pop the chain off there and then pop that off. Now do the same thing on this side. Pop the little dust cap off. Loosen and remove the nut. Let me see here. Use the crank removal tool to screw this in. Make sure not to cross thread the tool. Big wrench on the big part. Little wrench on the little part. And oh. Tighten that in, and then pull that off. Now we're going to want to measure the spindle, basically from the end of the tapered part here to the end of the tapered part on the other side. I have a caliper here, and I'm just going to measure from here to there, like that. And it came to 115.14. Uh, so 115 is close enough. So that's the measurement I want from there. The next thing I want to measure is the width of the bottom bracket shell. Basically, uh, the painted part here, the part of the frame. And that comes to about 68 millimeters. So that's the width of the bottom bracket there. Those are the two measurements that you're going to need. And then using those measurements, is what you use to order a uh, new uh, bottom bracket. Um, this is a Shimano BBUN55, and it, it's, it's, uh, the measurements are for a 68 millimeter bottom bracket shell, and then the spindle is 115 millimeters long from the end and on the, the uh, tapered part. Okay, so next, we'll go ahead and remove the old bottom bracket. And I got this lock ring here, so I'm going to go ahead and just loosen it and pull it off. And it looks like the whole uh, cut part's coming out instead of just the, the lock ring coming off of there. That's fine. Up there that is. And then I can go ahead and just pull this out anyway. And so there's the old uh, cup there. Okay, now i got to remove the, the fixed cup. And the fixed cup is generally a lot harder to remove. It's usually on there a lot firmer. And I'm going to use a big crescent wrench on here and hold that on there. And then this is going to loosen by turning it clockwise, uh, normally the opposite uh, direction that you normally uh, loosen something. So I got that. I'm going to hold that wrench on there and I'm just going to tap on it with a hammer, get it to break loose because it's going to be very tight. There we go. Chain off of there. And then remove all the old bottom bracket parts. And so there, they have them all removed. Now before I install the, the new bottom bracket, I want to go ahead and clean up the, old, the, the bottom bracket shell. So I have some uh, paint thinner here and a rag. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and put some uh, paint thinner on the rag and just wipe the whole thing out and get all the old gunk and grease and dirt out of there as best I can. Okay, now we're ready to install the new bottom bracket. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, just multi-purpose grease. And I got this part of the bottom bracket here. And I'm going to just go ahead and put a little bit of grease around the threads here. Just a light coating of grease around the threads. And then I'm going to go ahead and just thread this in. And this is going to screw in counterclockwise. And then you're going to need a bottom bracket tool that fits this particular bottom bracket or whatever bottom bracket you use. This is a Park Tool BBT2. And it just kind of locks like right into here and then screws in. And I'm going to use a ratchet wrench. Go ahead and screw it in. Good, get it nice and tight in there. Now let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put the other side on. And if this side is metal, go ahead and use grease. If it's plastic, do not use grease. But this one is made of aluminum, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of grease on there. And then get it threaded in there. And be sure not to cross thread it. It should screw in uh, nice and smoothly. There we go. And then just screw that in until it's tight in there. Now we'll just go ahead and clean these, uh, any uh, leftover grease up yeah, out from both sides. And then this should turn nice and smoothly there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remount the crank arms. So this is the non-drive side. And so I just push that on there. And then this comes with bolts instead of nuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bolt uh, started and get threaded in by hand. Then use the ratchet wrench to just uh, tighten that in, and that'll press it onto the onto the spindle. Then put the dust cover on. Just snap it in place there. Let's do the other side. Okay, let's go ahead and install the drive side crank arm now. Um, go ahead and put the chain and rest it up there on the bottom bracket shell, hopefully it'll stay there, out of the way. And I'll put the crank arm on, and I'm gonna have it facing up, which is 180 degrees from the other side, which is facing down. And just to get this chain out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it onto the uh, chain ring there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, bolt and get it threaded on there. Get started, thread it, screw it in all the way by hand as far as I can go. Then tighten it with the ratchet wrench. You can use a torque wrench here, but I usually just tighten it by feel and just kind of tighten it till it's pretty tight. And it basically just presses it onto the uh, spindle. Then I've got the, I've got the uh, little dust cap. And then I'll just snap that on. And there I go. I have a brand new sealed cartridge bottom bracket installed on there. That's all there is.